Hello everyone, Dave Moore with OnlineMarketingSociety.com. Today we're going to do some video. Um, my biggest pet peeve with video is going to a site, clicking the play button, and having to wait. So what I want to do is teach you how to build video today that literally for most of the world will play when they click the play button. At worst they'll wait a second or two. Um, the key is in the bit rate, but you have to be careful because if you're taking like a talking head video that comes out of an HD camera, if you turn the bit rate down too much, it looks funky. So we don't want that either. So I've already got an MPEG-2 built. So here is our, our MPEG-2 today to quick media converter. I will throw up the, uh, the URL to get quick media converter. It is absolutely free and it will convert most any file format you want to convert. So first thing is to, I don't use it very often because I always have something that's converted in the, for, well you, I do screen capture so it's really not that big of a deal. Okay here's our MPEG, we're just going to double click on that, that imports or brings or, or says to Quick Media Converter that we're going to convert this MPEG and then we want to put it in an AVI format, uh, the XVID and then just hit the convert. That's it. Okay, here is our converted file format. This is AVI. It's a Windows, so you can see that it uh, still looks as good as it did. Let's uh, go over to Camtasia. We're going to import our converted file format. There's our MPEG-2. Hit open. Um, it drags it up to, to there. We'll drop it into Camtasia. We want to change our screen size, so keep aspect ratio. Um, let's do like a 480 by 269. That's about a standard um, widescreen format. You can make them bigger if you want, but this will keep the file size down pretty small. Hit OK. At this point you can do any kind of editing you want if you wanted to do, but this is not what we're up to today. Today we're going to just produce video and hit next. It's going to be uh, custom production settings. Hit next. You want to click on the MP4 FLV SWF uh, output. Hit next again. I use a different kind of player. So um, click no controls so that there's no video control, no player attached. Do your flash options. We want to convert to FLV, and when you see this, this is going to be 800 for you. So we want to turn that down to uh, 256. It'll give us a smaller file and something that streams or, or is it should play pretty quickly. And then the audio format MP3, uh, 22,000.050 kilohertz or 22.050 kilohertz. Uh, mono, there's no point in having stereo, but it will be two-channel mono. There's just no point in having the left-right because it doesn't matter. And then I run like 48, 44, somewhere around there, right in that 48 range. And hit apply, hit OK, hit next, and then uh, next again. And then here we are going to have um, where we're going to store it. So we'll, we'll change that just in, for this example. We'll run it back out here to the desktop where it was or is. Uh, create a new folder. We'll call it, um, um, doesn't matter what we'll call it, VP6 conversion with Camtasia. Okay, now that we've got that, we can just name our file. I think this is like tip four. And then hit save. Now we are ready to go. Hit finish and it's working. Hi. So there you have it. We have successfully taken an MPEG-2 and converted it to AVI and then finally putting it into the FLV VP6 format that will ultimately go on the web. If you like this video and want more videos like this, go ahead and fill out the subscribe that will pop up as soon as I finish here. 
and uh, you'll get a new one typically five days a week. I'm trying to get seven, but it's tough. So once again, Dave Moore with OnlineMarketingSociety.com, and I'll see you on the next one.